I want to make a video here on the Kui extraction issue, which is a common problem with one of these um, Kui firearms. The, um, the model I'm using is a Kui MAL 75, but the same could be true for the MAL 39s and the model, um, I think it's 82 or 84. I, I haven't had any of the other ones, but I do have this one. When these guns get used quite a bit, some of these guns, I mean, God knows how many rounds have been on them. There, there could be tens of thousands of rounds on these because they've been around forever. And still in Canada, it's probably one of the most commonly encountered 22s. And it's probably still the one of the cheapest 22s you can buy. And they're excellent built firearms. But they have one little issue that um, is commonly encountered. Other than replacing the bolt, there's a, a way around it. It's not really a fix, but it's a way around it. And it's to do with the extraction issue. I can't really show it with a dummy cartridge. This gun, this gun has this issue. Um, actually, this gun belonged to my uncle before it before I got it and when I got it it had this issue and to tell you how popular these guns are when I was a kid I had this issue so I brought it to the gun store and the guy just working at the store knew about the the problem it was having and showed me how to get around the uh, issue the extraction issue he knew at the store which is like a it shows you how old or how long ago that was because now if you go to the gun store and unless you're talking about a Glock I they look at you like you're from Mars or something whatever uh, you're talking about an older firearm but anyways the issue which I can't really show because this gun has it but basically what happens is you when you put the cartridge in and you load it when you go to extract it after firing it won't pick up the cartridge this one will because it usually happens after the gun's been fired and the round is basically stuck in the chamber and what the issue is if you look at it I don't know if I can get it on camera but when you pull on when you pull on the arm you'll see the extractor move up in the bolt it it just wiggles enough in there when you pull up on it that the extractor it slips over the rim of the 22 and it will not extract it and usually that's if it's just sticky and I don't know if it's because the extractor is worn out or whatever but these guns are so cheap it sometimes it's not even worth replacing parts I mean unless you can find them for free or something but what's happening is because they've been used so many times it's been worn out and when you go to pull on the handle possibly also because these handles are brazed in it, it could be wear on that also so this is actually the extractor is actually slipping up over the rim and in order to get around this all you have to do instead of pulling on the bolt handle up and going back what you need to do is just pull the bolt up and just pull straight back on the the cocking piece that's all you have to do it works the same as with the bolt so if I put the round in this is just a dummy round and um, if we put it in and we cock or um, lock the bolt we unlock the bolt and instead of pulling back on the bolt just pull back on this and it ejects the cartridge it's it's pretty simple it's you can use your original bolt then and it's actually sometimes it's faster to even use this piece the cocking piece to just pull it straight back rather than use the little bolt handle because they it's sort of um, because it wobbles in there a little bit it's, sticks a little bit more so just pull back on the cocking piece get 
the round goes in, locks, you'd fire it, pull out and back and it works perfectly fine. So that's the way to get around the extraction issue on the gun. If you find another bolt in that, because of the wear, I don't know how the wear makes them do that. It could be the receiver. You could replace it with a like a brand new bolt and you could still get the same issue. Also you don't know because people which I find annoying people when they replace parts for these guns they keep old worn out broken parts they just keep them around so if you get a lot at a gun show or someone gives it to you sometimes those parts they were worn out and that's why they were are loose from a gun and then you end up putting it in your gun and it it still doesn't work so if you're having this issue I would just pull on the caulking piece rather than on the um, the bolt knob and, and your problem should be solved right there I didn't want to make this uh, video too long but that's just a, a simple way of getting around um, a problem on this single shot Kui models I don't know if the other models the repeaters and all that have the same issue but the the single shot ones that uh, is it's a pretty common issue so anyways I just thought I would share that and um, thank you for watching